So I recently bought this King's 60 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery and I am super keen to pull this apart and see what's inside and I know you are too so let's do it. So let me crack the lid off this and let's see what's inside. Now this should not void the warranty because I'm pulling it apart with a King's knife so i should be right for warranty shouldn't i okay so i was only joking about the warranty if you do this yes you will void your warranty even if you are using a king's knife to do it a few moments later okay with a lot of effort i have got the lid free so let us have a look inside i have not opened this yet Maybe we'll spin it around. We'll go this way. And let's have a look at what we can see inside. So that's what I'm looking at so far inside the battery. Righto. Now, I'm just going to see if I can get this foam block out of the way. I might need two hands for this one. So give me a second. And let me see if I can get this out of its case. So this sure is posing a challenge here. Now, I do have this tab here that the positive lead is uh, connected to. Now, that you can see that tab there. Now, I don't want to move that up and down too much because I'm going to break that. So I might have to disconnect these here. So I'm going to have to undo them from here. And get this lid out of the way and see what we can come up with okay so I've got the lid off now so looking in the top of the battery this is what it's looking like so we've got our positive lead here and when I put my fingers in here you can I can feel that there's two there's actually two wires that are linked together so we've got two cables here going to this connector if I can get the phone to focus and the same thing with the positive line there's two cables in there you, you might have caught you kind of might be able to see them there and there's two cables in there so the BMS here that is just been uh, glued down with this silicon here on top of the insulator board here um, whatever they call that fiberglass type board so we've got our balance leads here going into our individual cells and I'm not sure if that is a temperature sensor or is that just to pick up for, for the negative line now look here we can see we've also got this tab here let me just pull this up so we can see this big aluminium tab is what our negative lead is going on to and the same thing with our positive line we've got this big aluminium get that to focus big aluminium tab so yeah, I really would like to get the battery out of this case. So I have the battery out and boy was that a job. I ended up having to get my oscillating tool and having to cut down the side here to get that out. And I will say this case is super, super strong. So I'm really happy with the strength of that case. That's certainly going to protect the battery. So just going to do a rotational view for you to what we're looking at here like this so the prismatic cells which i think most of you have realized that so let me just take a seat on my chair here we're going to rotate around here like this we're going to rotate around the front here we're going to pull this off in a minute and have a look at this to get see the uh, front of the cells and rotating around the side so what I want to do is I want to remove this uh, paper insulator here so we can see the top of the cells and see uh, what we're going to in here. That would be, that's part of your balance lead so we know that. So let's remove the insulation paper here and have a look at the top of the cells. So there is the top of the batteries there. Now one thing I have noticed let me see if I can flip this up here like this. So, 
if you can see that that to me looks like there's a fair bit of bulging on that side of that cell and the same thing on here so I've got my straight edge so let me just flip this up on its side here oh oh look at that look at that all right so when they've yeah that's not good so when they've pulled this tight with the tape they've actually pulled it too tight and they've actually damaged the cell here wow that's not good uh yeah the same thing here have a look here they've actually damaged the cell by pulling it tight with that tape so and you can see some bulging so let me just have a look here i'm going to put a straight edge look at that okay so you can kind of you can see these cells are definitely bulged out so i'm not sure if kings watch my videos or not but if you are watching this kings uh, i don't know who your manufacturer is but maybe when you do a site visit you need to make them aware that when they're strapping their cells down like this they're pulling them too tight and they're actually damaging the cells so i'm wondering if this is why that cell's about bulge. So let's have a look at this side. No, that one's all right. Let me just flip this up the other way like this. I'm kind of holding the camera with one hand and holding the phone with another. So it's kind of a bit shaky footage. That's not too bad, but yeah, this here. So while I have the battery open, what we'll do is we'll test the voltage of each individual cell. So we know two of the cells are damaged and are bulged or swollen. So let's see what we get in our voltages. So we'll start from this side here. So we've got our voltmeter here and that's got to fall off only because we're videoing. So we'll put this one under here like that. So do that one there so we'll test the voltage of that one that one is coming at back at 3.35 volts our second cell is coming back at 3.35 volts so that is good that's uh, quite uniform just let me just change over to this bus bar here our third cell is coming in at 3.46 volts so that one certainly got plenty of power in it and our last cell is coming back at 3.38, 3.39 volts. So they all seem pretty good with their voltage. So I'm just gonna move the battery over to this bench over here where I've got a little bit better lighting. I'm getting a bit of reflection on the other bench because what I wanna have a look at is the BMS and see if we can find what BMS this is. Now I'm not a tech savvy or should I say computer savvy person so uh, if someone wants to read that if they can decode that leave a comment below and let me know who builds that BMS if, if you can find that information but that's the the BMS that is on this battery and another thing I want to have a look at is see if we can find where the temperature sensor is because we can find our balance leads going to each of the cells here but I'm looking I'm looking for the the temperature sensor maybe under here. Uh, let me have a look at this. We can have, oh, okay. All right, that's just, yeah, there it is. There's our temperature sensor there. Um, that should be bonded onto the battery. This is just sitting underneath this card here. It's just been shoved underneath the card here uh, like this. If I can get it back back to in its original spot that's not that good that's not good um, yeah I'm I don't want to admit it but I'm a little bit disappointed in what I'm seeing in this battery um, I've got to be transparent to my subscribers here and yeah I'm, I'm I am a bit disappointed but anyway let's let's move on because what I'm looking at is if I can flip this over See if we can find a QR code on the battery uh, and get some, uh, or on the cells. See if we can find anything on the actual cells. If there's anything, oops, excuse me a minute. Here, I'm just having a bit of 
trouble with the, I can't see any QR cells, uh, any QR codes on the cells under there like that. What I do see is this sticker here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a manufacturing date, 20, uh, the 18th of the 3rd, 2023. I'm not sure if that is. If that is, this battery's getting on to, these cells are getting on to two years old. Uh, and I've just bought that battery, but I can't say this is the date, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that's accurate because uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, anyway, let us move on because what I'm going to do next, and this will be in another video, is I'm going to do a battery capacity test, and we're going to see if this pulls its full 60 amps, considering the fact that we've got two damaged cells so that'll be in the next video coming up so that'll be an exciting video let's see if we can get the uh, 460 amp hours out of the battery considering okay the video has gone long enough so you know what to do with a thumbs up for the video comment down below and wait for the next awesome video that is coming out on the off grid channel so I want to add this little bit at the end of the video. So don't all rush in and put comments at the bottom of the video here beating up on kings. So unless people like myself and their product um, quality assurance team pull batteries like this apart, we're really not going to know what happens in the manufacturing side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact Kings and I'll send them some photos. It's not going to be a complaint. It's just going to be some customer feedback and to show them uh, the issues that I've found with some of their products to hope that they will be able to get on to their manufacturers and just make sure things like that don't happen. So all feedback is good feedback.